Today we're going to explore how to back up a Postman collection using GitLab. In Postman, I've got a collection pulled up, and we're going to go over to GitLab and see what we need to do from here. So to start out with, we need to go over to GitLab and we need to start a new project. So I'm going to click on New Project up in the top right corner, and we're going to create just a blank project. We can give it any name we want. I'm just going to call this Postman Example, and I'm just going to leave all of the other defaults and say Create Project. As we can see, the only thing in here is a readme file, and we're going to come back and view that in a moment. One thing that we're going to need for this integration is an access token from GitLab. So I'm going to start by clicking on my profile icon up in the top right corner. I'm going to go to Edit Profile. And from this profile page, over on the left menu, I want to find something called Access Tokens. We're going to add a personal access token here. And again, we can give the token any name we want. So I'm just going to call this Postman Example. And we need to enable two scopes in here. This will allow Postman to be able to read our repositories on GitLab and be able to write information into them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create that personal access token. And we can see that token here. And I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard. So back over on Postman, this is where my collection is. We're going to start by clicking on the Home button up in the top left corner. And from here, we're going to look for this panel on the left, and we're going to click on Integrations. Now, it is important to note that GitLab integration here is only available on enterprise plans. So I'm going to click on Integrations. And this is going to pull up all of the integrations available to me and my team. So I'm going to start by searching for GitLab. And we see a number of options pulling up here. We see that we can back up a collection with or without a custom domain, or we can tell it to use the GitLab SaaS. I'm going to choose the one in the middle that's just backing up a collection without a custom domain. From here, I'm going to click on the button that says Add Integration. And this is where I'm going to paste in that access token that I copied over to my clipboard. I'm going to click on the button that says Authenticate and Proceed. And now we need to give this a nickname. So again, I'm just going to call this Postman Example. And now I have to choose the workspace that this is going into. So I'm going to choose my Work Sandbox. And now it's going to ask which collection within that workspace that I want to back up to GitLab. So I'm going to choose my Jukebox Voting API. And now I have to choose which project on GitLab that I want to back this up to. So I'm going to pick that Postman Example that I just made. And now it's asking us for a file name, and this is the file name that it's going to back up our Postman collection in JSON format. So I'm just going to call this Jukebox. You don't have to give it a, uh, a custom file extension here. There are other advanced options. I'm going to leave all of those as defaults and just click on Add Integration. We see in the bottom right corner that we see a status come up that says that it added the integration. We can see that it's been added here on our team. And if we go back over to GitLab, we click on the GitLab icon in the top left corner to go back to my list of projects. I see my two projects here. I'm going to click on the new project that I made called Postman Example. And when we scroll down to the files, now we see we still have that readme file, but now it's made a folder for us called Postman Collections. And inside of that Postman Collections, we see that it made that jukebox.json file. And if we explore this file, we see that this is the JSON of our entire collection.